Nine great apes at the San Diego Zoo are the first non-human primates to receive an experimental COVID-19 vaccine. Our ABC 10 News reporter Michael Chen explains why zoo officials believe it was critical for the apes to receive the vaccine. In 1994, at the San Diego Zoo, an orangutan named Karen became the first ape in the world to have open heart surgery. Karen just made more history. Last month, she and three other orangutans, along with five bonobos, also called pygmy chimpanzees, became the first great apes to be vaccinated against COVID-19. Each received two doses, three weeks apart, of an experimental vaccine developed by veterinary pharmaceutical company Zoetis. Nadine Lamberski is chief conservation and wildlife health officer of the San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance. And of course, we want to protect our great apes, our endangered species that are irreplaceable. In mid-January, the zoo announced its troop of eight gorillas had contracted COVID from an asymptomatic keeper. All are recovering. Those cases made it clear the other apes were at risk. That changed the narrative of that story quite a bit. So what went to an exploratory conversation of, well, maybe we'll use the vaccine went to I think we want to use the vaccine. Lamberski says the vaccine shares similarities to the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. It's been tested in dogs, cats, and mink, and its spike protein was tested in monkeys. There have been no significant adverse reactions. You know, there's, I think, one orang uh, rubbed his shoulder after receiving the vaccine. The zoo will soon be vaccinating another three bonobos and a gorilla. Other zoos have already begun inquiring about the vaccine. We've directed them back to Zoetis to essentially reserve some vaccine for their use. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. While COVID has been detected in animals like cats and dogs and tigers, the most deadly outbreak has been among mink, where 12,000 have died on farms in several states.